best things to do in Al Rayyan, Qatar. If you are thinking of visiting Al Rayyan, you'll find that there are plenty of things to do. From the Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Muhammad bin Abdul Rahman Al Thani Mosque to the Dar al Salam Mall, you'll want to take time to experience all that this city has to offer. Aspire Park Aspire Park is one of the most popular parks in Al Rayyan. It is also one of the largest parks in Doha. This park has a large area of 88 hectares, 217 acres. There are plenty of things to do and see there, including football fields, playgrounds, running tracks, children's play areas and cafes. While there are numerous fun things to do in the city, the park has been a major attraction for both locals and visitors. The Fountain Bridge is especially impressive at night. Other attractions include the Musfer Sinkhole, which is one of the deepest caves in Qatar. Here, you can climb the uneven structure, enjoy the birds, and take in the scenic views of the desert. For those who are looking for more educational activities, there are several museums in the city. Some of these include the MATHAF Arab Museum of Modern Art, which boasts a huge collection of artifacts. Another great place to visit is the Doha Museum, which is open on Monday to Thursday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. and on Friday from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. Al Qurana Lagoon Al Qurana Lagoon is a beautiful oasis in the middle of nowhere. It was once a dump site for industrial waste, but it has been restored into an eco-friendly habitat for different species of wildlife. The area is also ideal for photography enthusiasts. This natural wonder is located in the northern part of Doha. It has been a popular attraction for many tourists. However, the area is now threatened by the presence of over 100,000 cubic meters of wastewater. Al Qurana Lagoon was once one of the most picturesque spots in Qatar. But it was contaminated by the wastes from nearby water treatment plants. The government of Qatar finally decided to rehabilitate the lagoon. A French firm, Aegis, has been awarded a contract to clean the contaminated areas. MATHAF Arab Museum of Modern Art The Arab Museum of Modern Art, Arabic, Mathav, is the first of its kind in the world. It is located in Doha's Education City Complex, on a former school building. Designed by French architect Jean-Francois Baudin, the museum offers visitors a comprehensive overview of modern art from the Middle East. Aside from its impressive collection of artworks, the museum also offers programs and activities that promote the arts and enhance communication. Visitors can attend lectures, workshops, and conferences. There is also a library and an artist's workshop. The museum is part of a wider effort by Qatar's ruling family to build cultural institutions in the country. They envision Doha as a major cultural center. As such, they have acquired a trove of art collections and archival material, which they hope will provide a platform for artists and their works. Dar al Salam Mall If you're looking for a place to do your shopping, you can't go wrong with the Dar al Salam Mall in Qatar. This mall is known for its wide variety of stores, restaurants, and cafes. You can also find clothing, shoes, electronics, and accessories. It's a great shopping destination for locals as well as travelers. If you're traveling with kids, the Al Rayyan Park is a must-see. This park has playgrounds for children and various rides. Another popular destination in Al Rayyan is the Golf Mall. Here you can find top fashion brands like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and Dolce & Gabbana. There are also dining options, movie theaters, and more. One of the newer malls in Qatar is the Villaggio Mall. Here you can find local designers and top international brands. Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed bin Abdul Rahman Al Thani Mosque. The Sheikh Abdul Rahman bin Mohammed Al Abdul Rahman Al Thani Mosque, also known as the Al Rayyan Mosque, is one of the grandest structures in Doha. Its sandstone construction and succession of arches make it one of the most impressive mosques in the city. There are plenty of reasons to visit this place. In addition to its gaudy interiors, the mosque is home to some of the most significant and impressive architectural achievements in Qatari history. The grounds are spread out over 47,362 square meters and feature a green strip and several covered parking areas. 
They also boast of a robust calendar of social, educational and cultural events. The most significant feature of this complex is the rotunda, which is an architectural marvel in itself. The main dome is adorned with a spectacular ceiling of marble. Its floor is made from earth-colored marble, a design that keeps worshippers cool in the hot summer months.